Construction experts put their skills mm -hmm. to the test today at the Durham Fairgrounds. Yeah, this event, which is dubbed the uh, Construction Rodeo, features a skills competition and helps show young people why construction may really be a good career path for them. News H. Jamie Muro has our story from Durham. Look closely at the face of 17-year-old Colette Pellegrini. Pure joy. How far off? As far as you want. You're running the machine, you make the decisions. Colette is getting an education that no textbook can rival. Not bad. First time? Yeah. Hands-on experience on what it's like to work in construction. I want to be an engineer, so the construction is really um, a lot of the stuff that you really need to know about. Now in its second year at the Durham Fairgrounds, a construction pro rodeo sponsored by Associated Builders and Contractors is giving more than 1,000 high school students. So this is how you guys stay up and don't worry about falling? Exactly. Yeah, Window into a world of what right could be a promising yeah. career. Power lines, I didn't think it would be that much fun. I thought, you know, I was like, okay, so you're up there just working there all day. It's actually pretty fun and very interesting too. The idea really is twofold, the chance to educate and the pressing need to magnetize people to an industry digging for new recruits. We lost approximately 20,000 workers in the construction industry. That's an awful lot of people just in Connecticut. So as we come out of this, and we're coming out of it quicker than we expected, we are already finding a worker shortage. How do I get it down? As children, many of us stare in sheer joy by just looking at heavy machinery, imagining what it would be like to be in command of a hungry metal beast attacking dirt playground can become reality in a grown-up world. Just kind of what it's like to be a construction worker, um, like what they go through every day, I think it's really cool. Getting all this equipment put together, getting all these organizations together, not to mention these businesses, takes time. In fact, the group that organizes this meets next Friday to start talking about next year. Reporting from Durham, I'm Jamie Muro, News 8.